Good evening and salutations, my Days of Our Lives fans. Let's talk about Melinda Tran and um, Lonnie. So, um, pretty much this whole hour, you have Lonnie that is trying to convince um, Melinda not to press charges, not to pursue this case. You know, she tries to appeal at her, you know, as a mother, you know, as a woman and everything like that. And, um, you know, finally, after, you know, after Lonnie opens up, open up about her, you know, her pregnancy and stuff like that. And, you know, the stillbirth. Um, that's when Melinda opens up about everything, you know. Um, about the fact that she had to give up her own child where she was. And, um... You know, finally, it convinced her to, you know, probably going to drop the charge. She didn't actually say that. Let's just be very clear. She didn't say that. But, um, you know, she was really considering just dropping the whole charges and everything. And then Kristen walked in, and Kristen was like, I want to make a confession that I stabbed victim. And I was like, what? Now, granted, I said that for a couple reasons. Because I was like, the whole hour, she is literally sent there trying to get, you know, not get you sent to prison. And it finally works, and you just, you, you, you just ruined it. Awesome. But not that long ago, you know, Kristen was sent there talking a lot um, to Eli. And Eli came to her with, with a proposal. Because he was like, listen, I got this tape. I got this confession. If I give it to Melinda, I lose Lonnie. But if I don't, I lose Lonnie. And she's going to jail, and most likely you're going to jail. So there's a third option. And at first, at first, um, Kristen's like, I'm not doing it because, you know, I don't want to give up Rachel and stuff like that. And, I, and I'm not going to lie, when she said that, I was like, all right, so I guess we're starting to see, our, we're starting to see her true colors. But after this long, drawn-out explanation or plea from Eli, Kristen decides to do it, and that was the plan. And at first, I was, I was, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was like, when he walked in with that confession, I was like, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? And then when I guess he was at the park and he played the confession, he raised it. I was like, are you? It's. Is he serious? You, really? I, I, I'm not going to lie. I was, I was about to lose it for a good minute. But then Kristen came in and confessed. I was like... Hmm. Um, what else? What else we got? We got Gwen still being fake to, um, to Abby about this plan that she has that we still don't know. Because it's been three weeks or four weeks or whatever. And she's still doing this whole, I want to be a fake friend, coming at her sideways for something that happened that we have no idea. And, um, yeah, I got to agree with somebody in the comment section. You know, if you're not going to like, if you don't like somebody, just come out at them. You know, just be real. You know, stop doing this fake, phony, phony nonsense, you know, because it, it started to irritate me a little bit. And here's the, here's the reason why it irritates me. It doesn't irritate me so much that she's just being a fake and phony friend of her. Because I'd rather her just come out and just be, yo, listen, I don't like you because of X, Y, and Z. But if you're going to do this fake friend BS nonsense, at least let the audience know why you're doing this for. Her. You know? Because at this point, it's like, I don't feel any sympathy, and I just get annoyed every time I see her. Because it's just the same scene over and over again, and it doesn't really go anywhere. Um, apparently, I guess they're going to be doing some sort of, like, anniversary, happy birthday to um, Jennifer, because she was in a coma for, like, a year or whatever. So, she's going to apparently get her... Apparently, Gwen is going to get her act of revenge on her during that day. And um, Jake overhears a little bit of that. So, I guess we're going to see what happens with that. Let's talk about where my water at. Let's talk about Jake and Chad. So Chad comes by the garage, and this is after Jake again flirts with um K 
Kate because why not, I guess. I don't know. Um, so Chad comes over to, you know, kind of like give an olive branch or whatever. And you know what? Here's my thing. So Jake is like, you know, I want to be a part of the company because it's my birthright or whatever. And I just want a piece of the pie. And I'm like, why? When did you get so self-entitled? When did we go from, oh, well, you know what? I'm a, um, you know, I'm a garage, I'm a gearhead or whatever. And just... Like, when did we go from that to, I feel like I should be part of the company because, you know, my last name is Damero. Like, I feel like it's, it's, I feel like by him saying that, it's a contradiction to his personality. Like, he doesn't seem like the type of person that's just like, oh, well, now I'm rich and I'm going to treat people like crap or whatever. So it's like, when did you get this self-entitled attitude from? And, um, you know, just the simple fact that he feels that he should own, you know, he should be part of, you know, the family company. It's like, why? I mean, I know that Chad was kind of acting like a prick a little bit, but, like, Chad does actually have business ex experience. Um, and just because, I guess, you know, Jake got lucky with that one deal or whatever, you don't have the experience to actually sit there and, um, you know, be in the company. So why should he actually be in it just because his last name is Damaro? Um, but anyway, you know, they're talking and everything. And, you know, well, Jake gets ahead of himself and he's like, oh, I see the guys over there at Titan, you know, they're doing co-CEO. So I was sitting there thinking. And Jack was like, nope, mm -mm, not going to happen. Nope. I was thinking more like an entry level kind of position, you know, like a, you know, training, training wheel sort of thing. And, you know, granted, he said it in a, well, I'm going to be honest, in a dickish way, but, you know, what makes you think you should be, like, you know, co-CEO with him? So, at that point, he just lost it, and, um, you know, they're about to sit there and go blow, you know, blow for blow, whatever, and, um, you know, they, <laughs> you know, Jake makes, Jake makes, um, he makes the, um, Philly reference, and, you know, Kate tries to stop him. You know, try to stop uh, stop them too. And, you know, Jake says something like, you know, stay out of it, Adrian, or whatever. And I'm not going to lie. That that was funny. Um, and I, I got to give credit to not just um, Jake, but mostly the actor. Because that same sense of humor he had in GH. So I feel like that kind of carried over when he went to Days. So I got to give him props for that. It was actually a pretty funny scene. Um, anyway, whatever sort of olive branch that they had, it was just done. And, um, you know, Kate tries to chase after, um, Chad. And at this point, Chad was like, nope, I don't want any, I don't want any parts of him. I want no parts of him. I want him to be part of my company. And, um, yeah. So it's, um, you know, back to war at this point. Uh... Yeah, hold on, let me just one second. Yeah, 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 I think I, um, I think I actually explained everything. It's so weird. <laughs> I mean, it's like eight minutes, and I felt like not a lot, I mean, that happened. Okay, granted, you had Jennifer and Jack in there. They didn't really do anything. You had Brady in there. He didn't really do anything. The main story was, I mean, the main interesting story that really happened was Lonnie, Eli, Tran, and um, Jake and Chad. Yeah, that's that's, that's really about it. Um, <laughs> like I said, when uh, Kristen walked in there and just blew apart um, Lonnie's plan. I was even like, I guess that's what happens when, um, you know, Eli decided to not tell, um, Lonnie about the whole confession and kind of like working together, um, because I felt like they both had plans and both of their plans just like crashed right into each other is the best way I could sit there and ex explain it. Um, and yeah. That's actually it. It's so weird. Um, yeah, that's it. 
Um, so with that being said, I want to thank everyone who, you know, watching this ep watching this review. Really appreciate it. Also, and one other thing, since we're on um, NBC right now, technically, there's a show that maybe you may know, maybe you may not know, called This Is Us. It's coming, I don't remember when, but when I, this was in a couple, like, weeks or whatever. But I was thinking about actually reviewing it. And if you haven't watched This Is Us, you should really watch This Is Us. And if you are watching This Is Us, and you want to watch my review, because I'm thinking about starting to do a review on This Is Us, um, please watch my review on This Is Us. Um, I'm still thinking about it, but most likely I want to do it, though. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to do it. I'm not going to lie. The, um, I did a review... At this point, the review's over, so if you don't want to watch, that's cool, because I'm just going to ramble for a little bit. Um, I did a review, my last review on a TV show was Council of Dads, and I'm not going to lie, it was, um, my review really was not good. I kept trying to do the review like I would do my soap opera reviews, and you can't really do them the same way, exactly. Um, but I feel like I'm a lot better. I feel like I'm a lot more, like, comfortable and confident as far as, like, doing reviews. It's not like before. So, I'm going to start to do reviews on This Is Us. So, if you want to watch my reviews, please watch them. And, um, you know, even if you don't, watch This Is Us because it's a great show. With that being said, I'm going to go. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble. And thank you for everyone's support. Really appreciate it. Be safe. I will catch you in the next... Yeah.